ഹായ് ഗൈസ് ഐ എം മുഹമ്മദ് രാജി അബു വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി വിൽ ട്രൈ ടു സി ഹൗ ക്യാൻ വി കണക്റ്റ് ഹൗ ക്യാൻ വി കണക്റ്റ് ടു എ ഡബ്ല്യൂ സ്ലാംഡ ഓഫ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ യൂസിങ് ബോട്ടോ ത്രീ ഓക്കെ സോ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ഫസ്റ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ എ ഡബ്ല്യൂ സ്ലാംഡ ഓഫ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ സോ ലെറ്റ് മി ഗോ ടു ദ എ ഡബ്ല്യൂ എസ് കൺസോൾ ക്യാൻ ഗോ ടു ദ എ ഡബ്ല്യൂ എസ് കൺസോൾ ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ വി ക്യാൻ സെർച്ച് ഫോർ ലാംഡ ഓഫ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ so just type it lambda function so we will get the menu okay then so here you guys will be like by default it will be in a dashboard page you can click on like create function we can use the default option then give some name so this will be like uh, get demo something hello world okay you can select the environment i am going to select the environment as python 3.8 we can give the default permission okay just hit the create function button so this will create a function with a name get demo hello world okay so it may take couple of seconds once is okay so now it's done this is um, a default dummy code we can see that it will return a hello from lambda okay now we can switch to the jupyter notebook so in this jupyter notebook we have to install the boto 3 for that like oh, one way is like we can just use the conda environment other way is like we can use the pip pip install method okay so once this is done we can import boto3 we can import boto3 and json okay now we can connect to lambda client we can say that boto3 dot client lambda and try to execute it so i will show you like step by step so once i run this i am getting an error okay which is expected one you must specify a region okay to understand this you can go to the aws console again here you can see that region that is selected so here i have selected us west 2 you can see that us west 2 can give like us west to here us west to just run it it's done now we can have a like a test event dictionary it can help us to pass the parameters okay now we can call the lambda function so we can use the lambda client dot invoke okay we can have function name function name you can check the function name get demo hello world okay now we can say that payload i hope spelling is correct you can use like lums you can pass it as now it's empty okay okay now we can execute this particular function so this is again returning an error okay so it says that unable to locate the credential so we have to pass some credentials with this boto client so for that we have to use some parameters maybe i can define some uh, parameters here we have to we need to get access key first we need to get access id okay now it's empty then we need to pass access key okay now we can pass these two things with the boto dot client method so we have aws let me small letter aws access key id as 
access ID you can give here then AWS secret access key as access key okay you can execute it now I will show you how can like how can we get this access ID and the access key for that just go to the console just go to the console then type search bar just type IAM okay just click on it we can create a new user with this permission go to user there's a left left part like you have a menu called users just click on it just click on the add users you can give like uh, demo hello okay okay it's not that good name but I just give like demo hello you can enable programmatic access here just go to permission click on attach existing policies here we can search for lambda function lambda function I'm going to give like full access okay we can give like uh, read only access also but I'm going to give like full access which is fine just click on the review now create user so one is created the user we will have the access key and the secret key maybe I can download it if needed I'm just copying this access ID uh, let me copy this access ID here okay now let me copy the access key okay. okay this is also done let me run it now run the boto client then run run the invocation man okay now the uh, the response is success okay uh, i mean we got some data in this response okay now we can extract the uh, data from response so we can type response dot uh, we have a payloads okay okay so this is the this is something what we are getting so we have to read it for that like we can type uh, response payload okay we can read this dot read dot decode eight see see the response we are getting the status code and we are getting the body as hello from lambda okay so this is very easy we can with uh, like uh, five or six lines of code we can easily connect with lambda and uh, we will get the response one thing keep in mind if you are trying out this adams lambda function ensure that you are deleting it okay otherwise like uh, yeah it may cause some charges like uh, if it is there they, they, they will be charging very minimum values but it's better to remove or delete the, ad, the, the AWS lambda function that you have created also please don't use this access ID and the access key because I am going to delete it from my account so this will not be work for you you guys can create your own access ID and the access key okay so that's all about this video Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like, if this is beneficial, please like the video. Thank you very much.